Man, we covered a lot already in the last year. What could we possibly cover tonight? <laughs> Are you kidding? Don't you remember? Feature ordered a boat from us. Oh, right. He finally got that ability to ride a sailboat. And he bought one from us. I guess we better we better build that boat for him, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect time to do a shipbuilding episode, I guess. Right. The first step to build any boat is to chop down trees and... <laughs> turn it into keel sections yep all right i got to need one yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, timber so what do i do it's a hatchet yep it's a hatchet One big wood scrap. <laughs> Keel section number two. Let's go and make this boat. Sounds like plan. Okay, here we go. So I just come here and I'm going to create a small sailboat. All right, it's still. Wait a minute, you're creating it right here. Yeah. What's mm. wrong? Is this next to the uh, water? Uh, I don't know if this is the best place to make a sailboat. Why not? We're right next to the water. It's. Yeah, I mean, like we're right next to the water, and we finished the boat. Perfect. But the problem is, is that. It's going to take us a while to finish this boat. And while we, while this boat is unfinished, anybody can come along and tack on a peg. Or, and the owner of the boat is whoever finishes it. So I think that it's more ideal to keep it safe while you build it. Uh, like, like what? Well, being on deed is safe, but... I think we have it so that any of our alliance members, not that we, we don't trust any of our alliance members or village members, but, you know, it's still, we want to make sure that the boat is going to be ours. So there's a couple ways that we can do that. The first way is we can build it in a boathouse, boat which you're house. looking right at one of the, one of the larger boathouses uh, on this server. Uh, there's a couple other options, like, for example, uh, if you're a new player, you can build a little small little gated area that's locked or you can build it in the cart would you recommend that i thought they got rid of that from the game yeah i thought they got rid of it too but i don't know we could test it to see if it works but uh i think they have plans to get rid of it that they <laughs> and they just never did they never did <laughs> but uh yeah we can try it and show you know everybody whether it works or not but again, I, w I probably wouldn't do it only because if I was halfway down a boat and I logged out and then they did a change, it might mess it up so that I'd lose the boat. But uh, I think the safest bet is a boathouse. Considering we have one, let's do it there. All right. A anything else you can think of? Uh, yeah, probably a good idea. I mean, we have it all set up perfectly, uh, but if you don't, then you should set your boathouse right on water level, like just above water level. You know, raise the dirt level so that it's just above water. And you'll notice if you sort of take a look at where the sand is here, how this land is like ah, one slope, you know. I think we, we did one or two slopes right above water level. I think you can go up to three. The reason for that is so that you can drag boats 
You can just drag it all along the water or all along the land here. What happens if it's too high? If it's too high, then the boat's too heavy to drag, and you gotta push, 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 and that takes pretty much forever. <laughs> the great push of <laughs> <laughs> the great boat push. <laughs> the great boat push, yeah. Right. Yeah, I I've heard of like new players come in. Oh, I want to build a boat, and they build a boat right where they are. Yeah, you're not getting out of water. Well, I mean, I guess we got that loom all the way, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right, I'll pick it up. Okay. Let's do it. Can it fit in the cart? Let's see. All unfinished items can fit inside carts. Mm hmm. Tricky, tricky. Okay, so let's take this to the boathouse. So I can just put it down anywhere? Yep, pretty much anywhere. All right. We're safe inside here. here. Nice. Let's do it the other way. Okay, there we go. Okay, so sail a boat needs 50 hull planks, 50 pegs, it needs all this stuff. Mm hmm. Good thing that I got us prepared. Hmm? Yeah, I made all this stuff beforehand, so all we need to do is pop it in. Alright. In the cart? Yep, in the cart. So just pick up a whole bunch of stuff and right click it and activate. Good to go. That is the boat making. Boat making takes forever. It's like building a Colossus or... It's like building a Colossus. Yeah, like long action timers and you look at the massive list of things that we have to put in. You take a look, we have barely even scratched the surface and this is one of the smaller boats. Well. How can we make this process go faster? Like, what are. Well, aside from getting your skill up, there's a few things. Uh, like, for example, you'll notice that higher quality mats have a higher chance at getting uh, inserted successfully. Just like a small percent chance to get inserted more than others? Yeah, I mean, like, okay. if you're using a really low quality material, you'll have an extremely low quality chance. Like, you'll fail and fail and fail. And these long action timers followed by a fail is just painful. But uh, yeah, as you, the higher quality mats, they'll they'll go in more often. Makes for happy boat making. Even this 67 quality tenon mm -hmm. takes me 9.2 seconds to for an attempt. Right. Yeah, and you have pretty good shipbuilding too. And I'm still failing. Yeah. Yep, when you're starting out, you know, low shipbuilding skill, it's extremely painful even to make a rowboat. That's why I'd suggest that you get your skill up a little bit before starting out, you know. Well, you want to go out there and just like find random boats and start imping them? <laughs> um, well, sure, but probably not. That'll take a little bit extra time. Uh, the best way to improve or get your skill up in shipbuilding is to imp oars. Like improve oars. Just oars are oars. amazing. I mean, it's boring, um, but you're gonna need oars for for boats anyway. Like you, you'll, we're gonna need a couple oars. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if you're planning on one day building a nar, nars need a, a bunch of oars. So why oars? Oars are good because not only are they smaller, small-ish, or whatever, compared to boats anyway, they're also, uh, you can also put them in a BSB. 
which allows you to average out their quality, which is nice. So, you know, you make a bunch of low-quality ores, you take out, like, three for your action or whatever, and you imp those up, imp them up, imp them up, and then throw them back in the BSB, and the lower qualities will average out, bring their quality back down so that you can start the process all over again. Also, with ores, you're able to lower their quality by putting them into a burning forge. Uh, that's a quick way to get their quality back down. See, that works for any any wood carpentry thing, but yeah, shipbuilding. If you want to get that shipbuilding up, you know, imp the ores as high as you can, put them in a forge, burn them down, bring them out, repeat over and over again. I think that you'd want to get your shipbuilding to at, at minimum 20. You can successfully build a Corpita in a reasonable amount of time. Like, you know, by reasonable, I mean like a, if you spend a week on it, like a project. You're going to spend a week building a boat then you can probably build it without so much pain at level 20. The higher the better, of course. Get it to 30, get it to 40 if you if you can stand imping ores. But uh, yeah, don't start before 20 or else you'll be failing nine times out of 10. I'm, I'm, we're, we're building a sailboat and I'm sitting here failing and I have over 20. Another thing that you can imp besides ores, because ores are sometimes boring, is you can imp rafts, and rafts are really useful. You'll probably want a bunch of rafts for, for your carts anyway. Uh, so yeah, you can imp those up. Get your skill up a little bit, but uh, yeah. No, you'll probably end up having to go back to ores to get your skill up high enough to start building boats. Man, I raised my ship building the wrong way. <laughs> what, you did it by building boats? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So what is the benefit of having a boat? Yeah, there's quite a few benefits. Like for example, uh, boats go pretty fast, especially if you're trying to get across some water. Um, you know, you can get a cog to go about 30 kilometers per hour, which is pretty good. But yeah. the downside is that in some pretty bad winds, you're not going very fast at all. Um, but yeah, in addition, larger boats can carry a lot more. Uh, than most any actually any other like a cart for example it can, you can put a hundred rafts in there so you can carry like 4,000 wow. dirt 4,000 rock shards way more of everything else <laughs> like bricks and stuff you can just pack it in there so it's good for merchants um, but I can see like if you were going to your location and it was a little bit inland like what would you do you'd, you'd get you'd get to the place <laughs> and you'd be like I'm here, like, I don't have a yeah. cart or a horse. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, there are some downsides to boats, you know, but uh, it's, they're one of the only ways to get cross-server. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you're carrying, going across a boat bridge, you're going across boats. Um, and some servers are pretty, you know, geared for boats. Like, they have water flowing all the way through them so you can get from one place to the next. But I think no matter what, you're always going to go faster if you're on land, like on a horse. You can get there a little bit more directly. Um, although some people might argue on Indy, it's it's a little <laughs> hilly. Yeah, but, I can see that. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, boats are boats are you know a good addition thing to have in certain clutch situations. And it's just really fun. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. Everybody wants a boat. All right, so. What do you want to do next? You got okay, well, pegs, you got pins, ropes, seats. Why don't we work on the on the stern and the triangular rig? Because those are kind of like sub-components that need to be put together before attaching them to the boat. Okay, so how would how would I go about doing that? Okay, so I mean if you're if you're trying to figure it out, check the wiki and you look up the triangular rig, let's say for example. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we need a mast. Mast we can make from, uh, from just a, one. I guess, a, yeah, we have one. We can make it from a felled tree. Mm -hmm. And then some cordage ropes and some small tackle. Is not in here at all. Mm -hmm. So as a newbie, if you're building a boat, Chances are most of the items you can just 
chop a tree down and cut it up with your saw, carving knife, or hatchet or something, and you'll make most of the items, like all the pegs and all the all the blaying pins and tenons and hull planks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But there's a few items that go into a boat that are very difficult for newbies to acquire. So you're gonna have to be very aware of these items. Like for example, one of them not so bad is tar. You're gonna have to find a tar pit and dig up tar. Uh, but other ones that are really hard are ropes. You're gonna need mooring ropes, cordage ropes, and thick ropes. And the hard part is that as a newbie, you don't even have the option of making them. Like you can start making ropes and getting your rope skill up, but cordage ropes, I think your skill needs to be like 30 or I can't even remember. Some high skill in order for you to even have a chance at making a cordage rope. So yeah, wow. that makes, you know, that sort of is a barrier for newbies to make boats and you'll find that you'll have to acquire them somewhere else. There is one other item that's also difficult is, and that's the sails. The sails are cloth tailoring items and as well, they take a lot of material uh, and you need a little bit of cloth tailoring skill before you have a good chance at making them, so yeah. Oh, I do, do we have these items? Fortunately, we have these items. We prepared them. I put them in the other cart. You were hiding <laughs> them from me. That's what you were doing. Exactly. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this all together into a triangular rig. Activate a small mast. Mm -hmm. Right click the triangular sail, which is on the floor. And then we need to add some cordage ropes and tackles to it. Alright, there it is. One triangular rig. Let me put that in. Mm -hmm. And you said there was something else? Yep. The last thing, or the last subsection is the stern. A stern. Yes. Do you, do you have the stern? Yep, just made it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. All done. All right, a pine wood stern question mark bag. <laughs> We're down to the home stretch. Looks like we just got the pegs and we have the heel section left to be done. So all we have to do now is I think we have <laughs> Beecher said, hey guys, is my boat ready yet? <laughs> I don't know, it just makes him sound like, <laughs> like a little <laughs> kid being like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> I just, I just want to respond to him and be like, sit back down and put your seatbelt on. <laughs> you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. We don't have another keel section. We don't? No. We don't even have a felled tree. Huh. What are we going to do? I guess we're going to have to go out and get another one. Alright. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I could always just chop down this fir tree out here. Nah, don't be lazy. Uh. Five pegs in the keel section, down to the home stretch. Here we go. Oh, 
All right, we're down to the last peg. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Eight, five, four, three. Whoa, whoa, two, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Here, put this peg in. What's wrong with my peg? The last peg that you put in, or the last piece that you put in, determines the wood type of the of the boat. So I guess you just really like cherry wood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here Makes we go. Makes a big difference. <laughs> Gotta look sleek. Three, two, one. We did it. And we even got a securing your boat mission progress window. <laughs> Don't forget, and we'll talk about that right now. But I'm just so excited. So you finished the boat and it gave you a window that tells you about securing, securing your boat. it? Correct. I'm going to get Check one of me these out. anchors. I'm dragging it away. <laughs> See, and we can do this because we're on the water level. Ah. If, if, this, if this building was not on the water level, yeah, we wouldn't be able to drag it. Why don't we pull it right through this boat? This is what this boathouse was for. Let me, let me look at you coming through. There you are. The reason why we built the boathouse like this. All right. One... Small cherry wood sailing boat. Mm -hmm. Peacher's gonna be one happy guy. Yeah. Get on. I'm getting on. Here we go. We're going 13 kilometers an hour. Not bad. Probably, uh. You can always check the weather by doing a slash weather. Yeah. Tells you the direction of the wind. So you'll go faster when you're sort of going with the wind. A strong breeze is coming from the northeast. Oh. Hmm. So right now we're going north east. So we're going as slow as it. <laughs> we're going only nine going this direction. Uh, this is pretty funny. All I see is uh, <laughs> the rope in my face <laughs> or I look yeah. at dead white <laughs> Ooh. Okay. yeah maybe we'll go around our place a little bit Remember people, always lock your boats and always put an anchor on it or else somebody can take all your stuff or draft steal your boat even. If you want to secure your boat for sure, dock it on your deed and if you're, you know, if you take it away or if you go across the river or visiting a friend or whatever, always have your lock uh, boat locked and always have it moored. So here we go, we're going to moor the boat over here. Manage settings. Yeah, manage your settings. That's a good idea. More. Let's manage vehicle. Check it out. Here's a tip and trick. You can right click the ground, even two tiles away. Hit disembark. And boom. Ooh. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Took me so long to figure that one out. You, you, <laughs> yeah. You, dude. You'd let. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think it's ready. Let's give Beecher his boat. He's going to be so excited. Mm-hmm. He said, we oh, should. boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> that sounds like Beecher. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Here he comes. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to change ownership. Right click, manage vehicle, type the name of the new owner, and there we 
go. Have fun. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching. Go to our website at serversardown.com or like us on Facebook, which is uh, Servers Are Down, I believe. And follow us on Twitter, which is Factional Fight. And you can find all that stuff on our website at serversardown.com. So thanks so much for watching. And what is Beecher saying? You are not smart enough to figure out how to be the captain of the small sailing boat. Oh. I thought he said that he had the, had the skill. Well, that's Beecher. <laughs>